Hey, this is Harry from Passport TV here. We're back with another video. This time it's to preview Everton, Spurs versus Everton on Saturday morning at 12.30. Um, this might come out actually in the morning. <laughs> it happens, so bear in mind with that. So Spurs are playing Everton away after beating Brentford 3-2. Um, what do I think of this game? Well, <laughs> as some of you may know, I'm a massive fan of Sean Dyche. <laughs> I'm not apologetic about it at all. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys heard, but Everton failed in an attempt to sign Saeed Barama. The yeah, only someone like me would know this. But, yeah, so they are quite thin squad-wise going into this game. Um, but, but, people forget, Sean Dyche's first game to be Arsenal 1-0 at Goodison. Also, we were kind of lucky not to, you know, just pick up a point in the home match. I think 2-1, whatever it was, 3-2. Yeah, it was 2-1, actually, so the Gomez came on. Um, we were kind of lucky to get away with the three points. Uh, I think Everton gave it a real good go at Spurs Stadium early in the season, and I think tomorrow or today, whatever time you see this, um, it'll be the same. Uh, Everton are a tough away match. They need the points, even though they had, they've had they had a brilliant run at the start of the season. They won, since the points deduction, they won like four in a row or something. It's not like he galvanised them, but it'll be a tough match. I can't imagine Everton will play a high line or open football, and which I think for me will cause us a massive problem because we're going to have to break them down. Their defence, I know they're not the highest in the league, but they have got some very good players. Branthwaite is one I've banged on about for ages. And they've got others there who, Tarkovsky, who are not just a threat on set pieces, but they're also very tough to break down. You've got the ex Spurs player, Dan Juma. My thumbs from they sold him on them keep them but he if he if he's still there he might pose a threat um Calvert Lewin has yet to really kind of hit his stride as I think since he's come out from his injury but maybe tomorrow might be the game for him as for Tottenham I can't see Anne changing that much um he might tweak something on the right he might put Johnson on the right this, this time to Koseski it's quite interesting but I think the midfield kind of picks itself Madison and Benzko will probably play again the third player I have to admit, I thought Skip actually did all right in the first half against Brentford. He was quite unlucky to be taken off for Johnson, but I guess it was obviously from a more attacking change. But I could, maybe he'll play Skip with Ben Scar and Madison. Maybe he'll do something like that. It is, it is possible, but I think the right side in the middle of the field is anything really going to change because with Charles and Werner going to play 100%, and the back five kind of picks itself now. Now, can Spurs win this game? Well, yes, they can win this game, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be as easy as people think. I think Spurs will probably scrape it, maybe like 1-0. But I think Everton will put a lot of pressure on us on set pieces where we seem to be quite weak. A lot of times in that Brentford game, we seem to switch off. And yes, maybe it's because it's a young team, it's a new team, but we seem to do this a lot over the years. We just switch off stupidly. So is it going to be a tough game? I think it will be a tough game. Can Spurs win? Yeah, I think they can. But Dice Ball is a, is, it's a real thing, and I don't know. I, I could even see this game being a draw. It's going to be very tough. But yeah, got the three points against Brentford. We can get three points against Everton. I think top four is probably on this year. And with Villa kind of falling off a bit, I think Spurs are probably favourites for fourth now. I can't see Everton, sorry, I think Everton. I can't see Arsenal falling out of the top four. And I think Liverpool and City are going to be the top two. Whichever way around. I still like I said at the beginning of the season, I still fancy Liverpool to win the title. Especially now, even more that's Klopp's last season. I just think they're gonna go out on a high and they'll probably win it. But yeah, as for Spurs, I think four spot is probably gonna be the best we're gonna get now, especially with the transfer money we had. It's not like we pushed out of the boat for someone like a Van Dyke or an Allison. Uh, but as people will say, oh let's see to the summer. But we've pretty settled again with top four. And is Andrew happy about it? For year one maybe, for year two we'll see. But, yeah, come on you Spurs.